All right, today I wanna to talk about histamine issues. Now, this isn't a lecture, it's not formal, it might not even flow exactly how you want it to, but hopefully if you watch it and watch it over and over again, you can connect the dots and make sense. Why am I doing this video or mini training? Because we get DMs constantly about histamine issues. Now, yes, we have some posts. I'm gonna share some information below, so definitely check that out, but I think we have this histamine crisis going on in our society right now. And we look at this crisis as histamine is the problem. We have to zoom out and look at this. Remember, you're not born with a mast cell problem. You're born with a copper deficiency. Now, when we look at the issue that's happening, histamine intolerance. We've created this new diagnosis and new problem and it really puts a red tag around your neck and puts you in prison and says, you can't have these foods. This is how we treat people. You can't have these foods because these are high in histamine. Instead of saying, I need to take responsibility for my health, those foods are healthy and it's the system that it's going into. It's the dysfunctional system that it's going into that is the real problem. And when we do that, there's a paradigm shift. We go from seeing histamine as the problem to really understanding what's going on and why we can't have these foods or why we're having this reaction. What is the missing link? Now, remember, histamine is naturally produced in the body. It's naturally produced by the mast cells anytime there's inflammation in the body or injury. We have to really look at that, right? Because what happens when there's inflammation? Well, when there's inflammation, we're losing minerals. We're losing sodium. Potassium falls, the magnesium falls. I've seen research to show that when potassium levels are normal in the serum and in the hair tissue, you actually will see less histamines produced. That tells us that when there's less stress in the system, there's going to be less histamine produced. But anytime there's a stress, we lose minerals. This causes the excess production of cortisol and ACTH. This causes your liver to produce excess metallothionine. That metallothionine binds copper and chelates it. Now here's the connection, stress chelates copper. You can see in the description, there's a lot of drugs, antibiotics, antipsychotics, antidepressants, gastrointestinal drugs. Um, blood pressure medications, um, alcohol, stress, you know, our, uh, synthetic supplements, synthetic vitamin A, vitamin D supplements, calcium supplements, zinc supplements. Um, the list goes on. Genetically modified food, high fructose corn syrup. Our soils are depleted in copper. All these things chelate co copper from the body. On top of chronic stress. What is the, what's the problem here? The problem is this. In this galaxy, in universe, the only mineral in the world that can activate oxygen in your cell so you can produce energy, so you can produce antioxidants, so you can produce superoxide dismutase, cytochrome oxidase, so you can produce ceruloplasmin. What is ceruloplasmin? It is bioavailable copper, right? And this is very important. This keeps the feedback loop going. This allows you to reduce more, more accidents. This allows you to reduce inflammation. This creates a healing environment, a happy healing environment. You're paying off your debt. You're moving towards homeostasis into the green, right? But when we're producing inflammation, we're doing the opposite. We're not producing the antioxidants. We're producing cytokines. We're producing interleukins. We are lighting a forest on fire and it keeps spreading and spreading and spreading. More histamine, more histamine, more histamine. What is the connection? Well, when histamine is produced, it is cleaned up. It is cleaned up in the central nervous system and it is cleaned up in the gut, right? By an enzyme we all know, DAO, diamine oxidase. And believe it or not, it used to be called histaminase. Think of diamine oxidase as we're at a construction site. We have all these workers with shovels and, and tools to spread, spread uh, dirt, sand. You have all these trucks lined up, dump trucks full of sand or dirt, whatever you want to put in. They come in, they dump them, the truckers spread it out, okay? So think of the trucks or the dirt 
It's histamine. Think of the, the workers as DAO. The trucks come in, they dump it, they spread it out. They come in, they dump it, they spread it out. All right? It's naturally working. When the amount of sand in trucks overloads the amount of workers, we get this buildup of histamine because DAO, right? What it does is it neutralizes histamine. What is the connection here? DAO, central atom, is dependent on vitamin C and bioavailable copper, ceruloplasmin. What does that mean? If we're not storing copper in the liver, if we're not converting it through retinol into ceruloplasmin and using that ceruloplasmin to produce all these antioxidants, we can't neutralize the DAO enzyme. But if we do, we can neutralize it. We can spread out the dirt. We can take care of all these truckloads that are coming in. But if we can't, it just keeps adding up and adding up. So is the problem the histamine? No. The problem is we don't have the mineral to neutralize the histamine. The body is amazing. The body is about balance, right? It wouldn't produce something that is bad for us that we couldn't neutralize. We have it for a reason. Just like everyone thinks cortisol is so bad. It's really not. It's when it's being overproduced chronically over time, it can become a real problem. But trust me, if you didn't have cortisol, you'd be really pissed because you would literally go like this to your finger and it would swell up and get infected and you could possibly die, right? So nothing is bad. The body is about balance and checks and balances. We produce histamine for a reason. There's inflammation. But when we're depleted and we're living in a chronically stressed state, taking synthetic supplements, eating fake food, genetically modified food, and taking medications, we chelate the very mineral that we need and we affect retinol status in the body, which we need to produce ceruloplasmin. So we affect the very mineral that we need to use DAO to neutralize histamine. It is that simple, my friends. So the solution is not to create fear of food. The solution is not to imprison yourself and say, I can't have this food because it's high in histamine. The solution is to take a step back and say, look in the mirror and go, oh my God, it's me, it's my problem, it's my system, it's how I'm living, it's the medications I'm on, it's the chronic stress that I've been under since I was three years old or since birth or since my teens, whatever it may be, or it's the chronic stress that you're under right now. It's because of the foods I'm eating, what not, how I'm not eating, how I'm dieting. All these things create the histamine issue. And this is why we see this crisis going on because people are so deficient in copper. When we're born, we should be storing 70 milligrams of copper. They're showing nowadays we store about seven. People are so deficient in retinol because people are so afraid to eat proteins because of saturated fats. They're afraid to eat fatty fish because of polyunsaturated fatty acids, right? And we're not eating the most important foods that we need to eat. We're eating chicken, chicken. Most people eat chicken, right? And then on the other end of it, we have this pro-metabolic community that's so gung-ho on sugar, they're forgetting about the most important piece, which is protein. That's where you're gonna get the minerals. That's where you're gonna get the fat soluble vitamins to convert the minerals. So you can produce bioavailable copper. So the solution is not to cut out foods. The solution is, number one, use our RTM method. Why do I say this? It's really simple. Because T3 is an oxygen sensor. Thyroid hormone, active thyroid hormone is an oxygen sensor. So when you eat in a way to meet your metabolic needs, what happens? You quiet the stress response. Now you stop chelating copper. Boom. Secondly, you start converting and supporting the production of T3. Well, T3 stimulates the liver, which is the warehouse of ceruloplasmin. Everyone's focusing on eating copper. Get your body working properly first, right? That is the most important thing. T3 stimulates your liver, the warehouse to produce ceruloplasmin. That is the foundation. That is the basis for everything else. So if you're taking desiccated liver, If you're taking a vitamin A supplement, all these things, throw them away right now. Put them down. Create the foundation with our method to get your body to start reducing stress so you don't chelate copper. Number two, so you can start producing ceruloplasmin in the warehouse that it's produced. Secondly, yes, eat foods with retinol. 
Dairy that doesn't have added synthetic A or D. D depletes liver retinol. Secondly, eggs, right? Vitamin A. Um, any type of organ meat, liver, everyone goes for liver. Kidneys just as beneficial because it's been shown that kidney actually has the DAO enzyme in it, okay? And fatty fish, everyone's so afraid of fatty fish because of polyunsaturated fats. You're not going to get tons of polyunsaturated fats from fatty fish. You're going to get it from cooking oils, nuts and seed oils, and processed foods. So stop living in fear, okay? It's dogma. It's fear-mongering. Eat the fatty fish. Get the retinol. Eat the foods that have copper. All your shellfish, your seafood. These are the foods that people are not eating. Get your foods, your fruits with vitamin C. Use the adrenal cocktail two to three times a day. Why is vitamin C important? First is... Vitamin C contains an enzyme called tyrosinase, which stimulates the liver, the warehouse, to produce ceruloplasmin. What is the central atom of DAO dependent on? Copper, ceruloplasmin, and whole food C. Why? Because the connection, right? Third, yes, if you want to add desiccated liver, go for it. A better option for people with severe histamine issue would be take desiccated kidney. Why? Like I mentioned, it contains DAO. Right? So throw away all the histamine bloggers. Stop being afraid of food. Start replenishing your minerals. Start, start to reduce the stress response. Produce thyroid hormone to get your body to start producing what you need, ceruloplasmin. Then get it from the foods of the supplements. Support the foundation that's there so you can start neutralizing the histamine instead of being afraid of it your entire life. So hopefully this makes sense blows your mind and you're like, oh my God, it does. If it doesn't, post some questions below. Check the post that I put within this because there's more information in there for you to wrap your head around. But remember folks, it's not being afraid of food. It's finding the balance in how we're living. It's finding the balance in what we're doing so it supports our system, not keeps us locked in a prison for the rest of our life. Thanks for tuning in and I'm out, peace.